Whether we wanted it or not, Trials of Osiris is changing come Season 21. Not gonna lie, I am not a PvP god at all, but I have been playing Trials a lot more with my Stasis Hunter now that I was able to obtain the OP, yes, the overpowered Immortal Adept with Rangefinder and Target Lock. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome back to another video. Now, before you guys say anything about this SMG, or more specifically, Target Lock, it did get a nerf in the most recent patch that happened this past week. Even with that nerf, I have still been shredding in comp and in trials with this weapon. But, that's not what we're here to talk about. Today, we are going to talk about the changes that are coming to Trial of Osiris, starting with the removal of the Flawless Pool. In the Lightfall Crucible update that was released on March 22nd, 2023, Bungie had talked about some important details coming to Trials. And I will put a link to that update down in the description box below for whoever wants to go ahead and read it. But before any of those changes actually happen, we will be getting a Trials of Osiris Labs that will have new matchmaking rules. For those who don't know, when Bungie introduces a quote-unquote Labs to a playlist, they are pretty much experimenting with either a new map, a new game mode, and or system to the game, and we are pretty much the guinea pigs to test it all out. Currently, Bungie has enabled Fireteam Matchmaking, or FTMM for short. What this means is that you will be matched with like-sized teams in Trials. For example, if you go into Trials with a stack of three, then you will most likely be matched up with another team that has three members. And the same goes if you go into trials with a team of two, you will go against another team of two and both teams will have one blueberry on each side. And finally, if you go in solo, trials will try its best to match you with a group of solos, but if it can't, it will put you with a team of two. However, the flawless pool is still active until the mid season patch. When we get to the mid-season patch, Bungie will be testing out a new matchmaking system. The goal of this system is to, quote, allow players to play with friends without worrying about whether they have gone flawless, remove the motivation to reset cards in order to farm or carry, and to better protect players who are struggling to find success in the playlist, end quote. I.e., those who don't really go flawless for whatever reason. Instead of having a flawless pool on Sunday after the daily reset or Monday, depending on where you live in the world, there will always be two quote unquote soft pools when trials goes live until it ends the following weekly reset. The term soft means that quote, matchmaking will initially prefer not to blend the pools, but will if necessary to find a good game quickly, end quote. So essentially, get wrecked noob, if matchmaking looks for a quick match instead of a better one for your fire team. These pools will consist of a challenger pool and a practice pool. Pretty much, the challenger pool will consist of all of the top dogs in trials. You know, those people who go flawless every week or several times every week. And the system will work similar to Destiny 1, without the focus on the games getting more difficult as you progress with your card or after you have already been flawless. The challenger pool will match people based solely on your connection and not on your ticket or if you have already been flawless. Additionally, players with no losses on any card, even after resetting a card or players who are playing with someone with no losses will be placed in the challenger pool as well. I don't know about you, but this sounds like Sweatville to me. This system really sounds like your first, second, third, heck, even your fourth match can be sweaty AF. Now, the practice pool is a little bit different. The practice pool will be targeted at new or less experienced players, but there's a little more on this as well. This pool also matches you based on your connection in conjunction with your weekly performance, and this will reset each week. Players who are on their first game, not on your first win, or if every player on your team has a flawed trials card, you will also be put into the practice pool. But the practice pool also has stomp and farming protection. So what is stomp protection? 
Well, storm protection is, quote, if you are consistently struggling, it will reduce your weekly performance rating to give you slightly easier matches until you recover. Okay, so what is farming protection? If the system detects that you or a fire team member are likely attempting to farm the practice pool, it will slow down your matchmaking times initially, and if you continue, it will lock you in the challenger pool for the remainder of the weekend. And this is regardless of your card state, end quote. So if you thought you were going to cheat your way to flawless, then you better try looking at other options like DDoS attacks. But then again, now some of the newer Wi-Fi 6 routers have DDoS protection where it prevents incoming pings to your system. So good luck to you if you have to cheat in order to go flawless. And that's actually really sad, <laughs> but it happens. Oh, we're not done yet. There will also be updates to trials as well as in the form of the passages, Guild of Flawless title requirements, a new Flawless emblem, the main game mode, and there will be an introductory quest to trials. First, let's go over the updates to the passages. So for the passage of wealth, it will reward extra trials rank on every win. The amount rewarded increases as your major rank increases. And for the passage of mercy, it will now forgive two losses if you have not been flawless that week. And it will revert to forgiving a single loss once you go flawless. Now, Bungie didn't really give us much information about the new Gilded Flawless title requirements, except that they, quote, want to bring this more in line with Gilded Glorious and better reward dedication along with individual and team skill in trials, end quote. Whatever that means. Next, the new Flawless Emblem will be awarded to those who go flawless without ever trailing in any of your wins. And what this means is that you need to either always have more points or the same amount of points as your opponent without falling behind in order to get the new Flawless Emblem. For some, this will be easy. For others, not so much. Bungie will be experimenting with changing the main Trials game mode to what is currently called Zone Capture Elimination, but it will have its name changed to what will be called Dominion. And finally, there will be a new introductory quest to quote, better onboard players into the Trials environment, end quote. I'm just gonna assume that it will explain how the new trial system will work while introducing new players to Dominion. So that was everything that Bungie had told us so far about the new aspects coming to Trials. However, there will be a lot more changes to Trials come season 21 that Bungie has yet to reveal to us. Stay tuned because when we know more, I will be going over all of the details that will be coming to Trials. On another note, I also have a few builds for PvE as well as PvP for each class and subclass, so go ahead and stay tuned for that. And Hunters, we are going to start with you. Also, if you are wondering when the Immortal Edept will be coming back for Trials, you are probably looking at around 5 weeks, which is around the mid-season changes that are coming to Trials. This is around May 5th, 2023. But this is completely speculation, but if every weapon gets a turn each week, five weeks from now will be the Immortal's turn again. But Bungie might make it sooner or later, and we're just going to have to wait and see which one it is. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel, like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Hey, hey you, watch these videos too. I know you like them. Go. Go, 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 go.